Director, I have the honor to request that you confer an honorary fellowship upon Mr. Misson Harriman. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer the honorary fellowship of SOAS University of London on Ms. Sam Harriman. Ms. Sam, congratulations. Thank you. Please, please address us. Hello all. And um, before I uh, speak about my story, I want to uh, thank, I was going to use the word parents, but I'm not. I'm going to say I want to thank those that were there. And I think you all understand what I mean by that. Those that were there that have taken you to this place today. Aunties, mothers, fathers, friends, uncles, WhatsApp groups. <laughs> Whatever it took, you're here. And I just want to recognize the global family that has protected you and molded you to this place today. I'm humbled, truly, truly humbled and thankful as I look across this room today I see the possibility of life itself. I had a difficult time at school. I'm what is known today as neurodivergent. I uh, can't really spell and failed most of the exams I've ever taken. And if I'm being really, really honest, my younger self was riddled with self-doubt and frankly, self-love. It wasn't until I met my darling Camilla, who sat looking at me now, that I realized how she saw all the parts of my mind that I was ashamed of. And that was a seed that unlocked a sense of self-belief that I never had. I picked up the camera on my 40th birthday, <laughs> not that long ago. And, and this is just for everyone listening, thinking it's too late. I just started photography on my 40th birthday. It's important that you understand that. And the camera has been my sword and my shield and allowed me to observe the full fidelity of the human condition. This generation of graduates you have an extraordinary opportunity to force change in a world that needs you more than ever. I know that many of you have been waiting a long time to graduate, but I believe the two years that in many ways was taken from you with COVID should and hopefully did allow us to have this moment of deep, deep self-reflection. And within this adversity, we have forged and carved a better version of ourselves to go forth with. And I hope that we go forth with intentionality and purpose. I always say this, the world may seem to be burning, but we cannot, we must not pass each other by like ships in the night. The network effect of empathy genuinely can move mountains. But you must never lose your sense of justice and intentionality in any professional and personal endeavor that fate is going to throw at you. It is essential you keep this within you as you shape the world. And please remember that vulnerability is not a weakness. I repeat, Vulnerability is not a weakness. I wear my vulnerability with pride. It shows I'm a human being, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I ask you today to never stop listening to that whisper within you, that, that inner soul that knows you better than you know yourself. 
walk that road less traveled with purpose and empathy. It will take you to the places that even your dreams were afraid to imagine. Thank you very much.